Hi, dear Roadwords. In this video, we're going to talk about reports and how you can customize existing reports to suit your needs. Let's get started. First of all, let's customize the default layout of all our reports. This is done outside of Studio, so we'll go to Settings, and in the Company section, I will click Configure Document Layout. Here, I will add my company's logo, and as you can see, Audio automatically adapts the colors that will be used, which I will leave as they are. Now let's update the look of our reports by choosing the folder theme. The rest looks good to me, so I'll just continue and save these changes. If we want to customize a specific report, let's say the sales order report, we can access the sales app, open studio, and click reports. Reports are linked to a model, and by default, the reports displayed here are the ones linked to the current model, in this case, the sales order model. I can remove the filter to display all reports if I need to. Now, before you edit an existing report, it's best to duplicate it first by clicking the three dots here, so that I always have the original in case of a mistake. The first thing I want to do here is remove the original version from the print menu by disabling this show in print menu option. And I will also rename it so that I know this is our original one. That's it for this report. I will now access the other one and start working on it. First thing I want to do again is rename this one. And we're good to go. Now, you may be wondering why some text appears with a blue background. Well, that text represents placeholders that will be updated when you generate the report. For example, fields like the sales order number, dates, or the name of the salesperson will show the correct value in the final report. There are also some conditional blocks, which have a dotted line around them, like these address blocks at the top of the report or the issued date. What's shown in the final report will depend on the conditions that have been set. Here, if I click Issued Date, we can see there are a couple of conditions. If I take this one, for instance, it will show another label, quotation date rather than issued date, if the document is not an invoice pro forma and has a state draft or sent. Next, let's look at our order lines uh, and how they are going to be shown. What we see here is a dynamic table. By dynamic, I mean that it's going to expand to show the correct number of rows when the report is generated. You can also edit the table to show exactly the information you need. Let's delete this column, for instance, that I don't need. And I would like to add a new column at the very beginning of my table to show our products category. So I can simply insert it left and name it category. In the cell just below, to add the field, you just type slash and select field. Here, I want to look for my product, click the right arrows to show the list of related fields, and add category. That's the one I'm looking for. Now let's talk about the report editor. Let's say I want to make the total amount of my sales order more visible. I can simply select it and format it using the options that will dis be displayed sorry, just above. I can change the color here, as well as make it bigger. That's better. Once we have saved or customized report, we can click Print Preview and see all the changes we just made. In the sample PDF file here, you can see the theme we chose, the new column category, with the corresponding value for each row of the line and the more visible total amount. That's it for this video. If you want to learn more about report customization, be sure to check out our online documentation. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Back to you in the studio.